What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm gonna be looking at a special message that was meant for you to hear right now. So this message is going to be a timeless reading and wherever it may find you, it is not by coincidence. So wherever you are, this is a message that may also be a confirmation to what you may have been seeing or hearing. And so if you are seeing signs or numbers or certain messages, it's not by coincidence. However, if you are anything like me, then you do not believe in coincidences. I believe that coincidence is the open space of where your spiritual journey will start. So if you start seeing synchronicities and certain things start adding up, it's not by coincidence. So this is a timeless reading. Doesn't matter when you watch this, even if you come back and watch it, you might find some valuable information for clarity and insight on your journey. So if you guys are new to the channel, yes, most of these messages are going to be for the purpose of insight and clarity and deeper meaning, deeper insight into your life. Last but not least, if you guys have not checked out the Soul Journey webinar, it's every month. You can find that information down below in the description box. On my website, thetarotpriest.com, you can book a session. So if you guys are looking to do a life coaching session, a tarot reading session, or even an abundance session where you are removing limitations around your finances, increasing your finances, maybe building in a brand for yourself, building a lifestyle for yourself, a freedom, then that's something that I'm also teaching too. Always check the link down below. There's only one and you're only going to find it under my pinned comment in the description box below. So the mantra for this reading that I was getting was to pour into yourself because you will never regret it. And this is something that I currently live by is always remember to put yourself in a place of care. All right, so let's hop into today's reading and see what message was meant to find you exactly where you were, what message you were meant to hear from your higher self, spirit guides, universe. This is just going to be an overall message and whoever comes through, comes through. We have four different decks that you guys can choose from. Feel free to choose one, two decks that resonate with you. I would stick to two at the most just because these are going to be specific readings to the person that is resonating with this stone. So if one of these decks stand out to you, this would be the deck for you. There's no such thing as choosing the wrong deck. Just follow your intuition. We have deck number one. Deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, let's jump into today's reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is the message that you were meant to hear. The question is, am I on the right path? Self-respect. Also, what's very interesting right off the bat that catches my attention is the pathway. And so am I on the right path? This seems like the path of respecting oneself. And also it feels like one one's worthiness. So you guys might resonate with deck two. Let's see exactly what's going on here. Sacrifice, success in the reverse and priorities all right last but not least we have the nine of wands i am strong for as long as i need to be strong let's get some clarity deck number one it seems to me that you are going through a shedding this also can be something known as the ego death a lot of people also recognize it as the dark night of the soul so the messages the signs that you're getting are a reminder of what is priority to you, not to everyone, but just to you oneself, okay? Also, the path that you're on that brings the most draining energy is going to be the wrong path. Now, some of us may find ourselves in those paths, so you might find yourself in that path and that doesn't mean to you know, quit your job because it's draining right now. It would just be to be aware of the things that are bringing you such heavy energy, okay? What feels the heaviest? Because really that's why the sacrifice card is here. So the lessons and the things that you're currently going through are also in a sense shedding because this is getting you to a place of success. You see the palace here? So, you know, this is the right path. Let's see what it says on the back. Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. So let's see what that's about. Deck number one. 
Thank you. We have two of swords, so we have confusion here. Okay, let's see deck one. What is this confusion? The full card. So yeah, this is almost like a battle between, you know, waking up every day, focusing on what you have to do rather than what you would want to do. So this is going to be an adjustment for you, deck one, but it feels really good. It's in the sense of when you wake up to remember to remind yourself of what you're looking forward to. So with the exploration card in reverse, this would mean that the path of your spirit, of your soul, is going to be the one that explores. It's not the one that's safest. Some would think, right? But our soul is never comfortable in the places that are safest, ever. Our soul desires to be free, to explore, to educate, to learn. And so this is something here is going back and forth between, you know, priorities, what I feel like I have to do, which is draining me and also the life that I really truly want to live, the life of success. So let's see why else the full card is here for death one. Thank you. Okay, so we have the queen of swords, fairness. So some of this is to make a strategic plan so that this can happen. So basically spirit is really just bringing this awareness to you. I know that we have self-respect. Let's go ahead and get that clarity because I feel like that's something too. Thank you, king of cups, fascination. Yeah, so this is also in your relationships. It doesn't have to be intimate, but in your relationships in general is balancing you and your desires and what you want to do. So this seems to be like a process that's going to take time we have the generous generosity card in the reverse for self-respect. So not really receiving exactly what it is that you're putting out in what you're doing or who you are around. So spirit is saying that there are signs and there are certain little things that will fascinate you, but you must follow those things into where they're going to lead you. That's the exploration. The exploration is also considered the unknown. You don't know what's going to happen in that on that pathway. So sometimes what I'm sensing is staying comfortable on one path because it makes sense. But what you're learning deck number one is not to follow what makes sense, but to follow what feels intuitively right to you. That would be the process of following your spirit. That's spirituality in the most basic sense is just to follow your soul. Nothing too crazy. That's the right path right? But some of us think, oh, this is the perfect path because it's comfortable. And so with the queen of swords, this is going to take you a strategic plan to, to now shift your life into a life of more success and also fulfillment. Let's see why success is in reverse because the queen of swords, this is going to be who you're becoming is not necessarily taking that leap without wisdom, but spirit is saying that you have enough time to plan to get out of this space and some of you again it's like oh but i have priorities but what about this we're going to get clarity on that let's see why success is here for deck one what you want them to know three of wands patience at the bottom of the deck okay patience so this is going to happen but it's taking small shifts small lessons so truthfully you're being patient with yourself on in these learning stages of your life okay Three of swords at the bottom, this would be disappointment. So this can be something that really wakes you up. Um, could have been in a relationship or something emotionally that is going to happen or has already happened. In a sense, what this feels like is almost like a revelation moment that you're going to have. So spirit is saying that you will have this moment. You could have already had this moment. And what that means is just the veils removed and you start to question if you're on the right path. And that's actually when you are on the right path, when you start to wonder. Now imagine the people who don't question and they're just out there that's someone who would need to ask that question. But because this, this epiphany that you're having, it seems like in a disappointing situation is what's going to bring you the clarity you need to get back on the path that you desire that brings you success. Okay, so let's see what else is here. We have 12 perspective. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. Now, deck number one, this was a card I was getting heavy, heavy, heavy around maybe a month ago. And what I've learned on my journey, just as you may, is to pause to get that clarity. Sometimes we just jump and jump and jump. And next thing you know, we've signed a lease somewhere in a whole nother place that we never thought. 
you know, making these impulsive decisions, feeling like we're running out of time. That's something that I'm seeing for, for the perspective of the hangman is be open to different ways of it happening and working. We get, sometimes you might get stuck, because I'm hearing spirits say, sometimes you might get stuck on one path and you're like, no, this has got to be the way, this is the way to get here. Spirit is saying, there is a better way, but you must pause to receive the information so that you can go, okay? Remember your higher self does not communicate through words and isn't going to knock on your door and be like, hey, wake up, I have a message for you. This is going to come through dreams. This is going to come through certain signs, certain numbers you keep seeing. Look those things up because it's all communication. So again, this is like a brink into spirituality, but we do have courage and we have grounded so a lot of emotional things are happening also deck one because i feel like you could have activated your sense of empathic ability to feel so a lot of these emotions that you're feeling you could be taking on from others so it says get grounded in pass highly sensitive connect with nature so there must be a downtime even in your career there must be a time for space for you there must be time. So I'm seeing also to get grounded, get into nature, get your feet planted on the soil for five to 10 minutes a day. Maybe this grounds you and be aware to what feels grounding to you because sometimes it could be music. Sometimes it can be nature. It could be mountains. It could be traveling. Certain things could really bring grounding to you. So be aware of, of what that may look like for you. So you are safe. Fear is an illusion, okay? So a lot of the things that you're believing out of fear is not true, is not real. So now this is what's happening. Even if you have doubted yourself, those beliefs that maybe you have carried, those fears, right? This is what's happening now is that fear is an illusion. Eventually you will see that you can do it or that this is possible. That's through the revelation that you're going to have. But it takes, it almost seems like it's taking you to a place to where you have to, you have no choice. And hopefully that's the goal, right? Is so that we don't have to learn the things for so long. That something is, it shouldn't have to take you getting to this place of such drainingness or disappointment for you to make those changes because in return, it will benefit you. Okay. So set strong boundaries. That's something I'm hearing at the very bottom. So that I definitely feel like if you chose one, you could have resonated with one other deck um, because there are some strong similarities here, but setting strong boundaries, okay? That's here. Positive outlook. So things are going to change for the better. Let's see why positive outlook is here for deck one. Thank you. The world in reverse completion and the magician inner skills. You still have the gift of the magician and that is to manifest your desires. 12, 12 on the clock. See what I'm saying? The magic is there. We just have to allow it to happen. We have to allow it to occur. Okay. The magician is also the one we have 12 here and 12, 12 was on the clock, you know? So when we have moments like that, there's that moment to say, is this a coincidence or is this higher self, is this God universe connecting with me? Okay, because you are the magician. All right, so we also have the world card here. Spirit is saying, don't focus on where you are now. If you had a higher perspective and knew where you were going, your outlook would completely change. You would get excited about these places. And some of you may have already had this place, but we have the butterfly. This is a transformation, completion. You're almost to that place of completion. And what's crazy, death number one, is this is 21. This is 21. So the signs are there, but you must be aware. That's what Spirit is saying. There is a long-term goal that you have in mind, dreaming-wise, that was set in stone. We have animals here. This could be, this is definitely traveling, exploration. Exploration, deck number one. This is something that, that if it excites you, this is for you. If it brings inspiration to you, if you like to watch people travel, if you like to explore new things, we even have animals, the Discovery Channel. I mean, if you like to discover new things, this is almost going to be that fuel to your soul that's going to push you into that path of your dreams. So 21, 
and the one magician, it's all happening. So make sure that you continue to be aware of that. Now, what is also occurring, I can't believe this, dang, the fool in reverse, okay, again. But I was thinking of this card when it came out and now it's here. So basically it says, I am guided and protected on my life journey, but this person is walking through the door with their eyes closed. That's what the exploration is. That's the adventure that you're here to take. In that place of adventure is where you're gonna find most of who you are and why you're here. That's where the magic is happening. But that pathway can feel like, uh, in a sense, scary courage, but just know that fear is just an illusion. It's a projection, okay? And I don't have time to get into that preaching message, but just know that that is the case. We have the Knight of Wands. I make decisions without pressure. This is about being confident in who you are, okay? You are connected to some type of financial uh, success here. So if you have not seen my financial success video, I just dropped it. Make sure you see what financial life was meant to you, meant for you because you have the queen of Ariel and success. It may not be there now, but it is here in the cards. And it says generous again, generosity is something because you're an empath. It's going to be very important. Who is generous in your life, nurture yourself and those you love the ability to make anything beautiful, practical and wise advice. So you do have the wisdom for success and financial um, success in this life. Then you also have the two of Ariel. Okay. This was the last card that you had. It's important to have balance working multiple jobs or projects at once making work fun. So that's also where the stamina comes from is even if you're in a job that you don't want to be in, it's shifting your perspective. And again, here shifting your perspective of saying, I'm grateful that this is going to give me something, but I'm excited to use this to whatever it may be. And that's why it's important to align your life with uh, excitement, inspiration, love, happiness, because once all of the things in your life align in happiness, you will be in that frequency for more than just holidays and graduations and special moments of the year. This will be a daily occasion that you will feel this and, and that's true enlightenment. So deck one, I hope I was able to say something that brought you back to a space of grounded, groundedness, peace, knowing who you are, knowing that success is here for you, knowing that financial success is here, but it may create some sacrifices, right? And that those sacrifices are those heavy things in your life that are, are draining you the most, I would say, so that you can have more insight and clarity on where you're going. So if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. Uplift someone else in the comments. Moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is a special message that you were meant to hear. The question that came out for you is, what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now. So deck number two, you guys could have also been drawn to another deck. I would suggest that you watch that one as well, just to see if some things resonate with you. However, this is about the things and the desires that you have in your heart that you have set out, but the limitations that are coming in preventing you from doing that. So let's see what else you have here. Mirror who or what is triggering you. So this is about being aware. So this message is more of like a yield. So if you see that certain things are triggering you or certain people are triggering you, pay very close attention to where that may be coming from. Let's get some more information on that healing. Okay, there you go. Okay, so more healing. So let's see what this is about. Death number two in the sense of triggering you. And it says, what story are you telling to yourself? When you think about your dreams, what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? This is very important. So let's see what this is about. Thank you. Victory. I love it. So spirit, universe, your guides, whichever you choose to believe, want you to know that they are co-creating with you for the victory. Understanding that you don't make this happen, 
but the co-creation of you and the universe is what makes this happen. All you must do is be in alignment. And so when you do have triggers, I like to say smudges on the mirror. Sometimes some, some people will reflect that back to you. It's time to clean that, remove that so that you can begin to heal because spirit is trying to bring you to a place of victory. Now we have worthiness. So this is also bringing in a sense of what I'm feeling like is value to who you are. Clear your energy, okay? So yes, this is about clearing your energy. Let's get some specific information for deck two. Clearing your energy. We have the strength card, Leo energy in reverse. And so what this is telling me is that the, the limiting beliefs, the feelings of what you can't do, the doubts that you have that act as like grenades to just sabotaging some of these dreams. Because again, this has to do with an internal healing that could be projecting. That's why I'm getting so deep. But the most important thing for you to know is that this is all for the victory. To get some energy on there, we have when I show my work, others give support. I trust myself to see the truth. Okay, so you might have went through many things in your life that proved you to be right and proved you to be wrong. And so the life lessons that you're going through currently right now are for you to get into a position to start trusting yourself more to see the truth. And now if any of you follow me on Instagram or any of you follow me in my teachings, I'm very big on what the truth is. And so being afraid of the truth is also what will trigger you the truth, right? When people say truthful things, that could be a trigger. So that's also a reminder of getting that healing because we can't control what people say or do. So what we control is removing those triggers so that we can remain free and flowing. All right, so let's get some more information on this. So if any of these swords come out, this is going to be more of a mental thing that you're dealing with. And then the cups are here as well, which would be more of an emotional thing. So let's see what's going on with deck two and what you want them to know. Okay. We have eight of pentacles. Some of you, we have the relationship card in the reverse. There are a lot of distractions. Okay. And a lot of the hardships you are carrying, I'm feeling are connected to other people. Okay, so there's a lot of heaviness here. Hardship, the 10 would be coming to an ending, not knowing which way to go, right? And so what is this all for? Why am I going through this? Why is this occurring? If this moment happens in the next month or it has already happened, then that would be that this would be a spiritual wake up call, I would say. Okay, let's see what this is about for deck number two what they're going through, logic, king of swords, justice. We have Libra energy, justice. So karma, clearing karma. A lot of this is clearing karmic cycles, uh, redirecting your pathway, having a strategic plan. We have the king of swords, being confident that you can do this independently. That's also another thing is that you do have victory, but it's it seems like finding that support and just clearing this energy and not really knowing exactly your worth because if you did most of these lessons would have been learned and that's okay because many of us go through this i went through this in a stage of my life as well many of us go through things that bring us back to the true value of what we have to offer and so we have relationship things here in reverse you see this person is wearing a mask um, she's look, she looks like she's pregnant, but I'm not exactly sure why it's in the reverse. We're going to get some clarity on that. Two of cups here for deck two. Why is this here? Two of cups. Thank you. The hermit Virgo energy. So time for some introspection. Some of these desires that you have, they're very, they're there, but it seems like a lot of obstacles that are in the way of that. And spirit is saying that it's just a few obstacles, but many projections of those obstacles. So it seems very magnified when this happens. It feels like more of a tower moment. The strength is in reverse again. Spirit is, I, I'm hearing very clearly, there's much to learn. There's still much to learn. Um, the king of swords is here. We have hermit introspection. And then we also have ace of swords intellect. So 
with the relationship card being in the reverse, this would mean that there is another perspective outside of this relationship. I'm not exactly sure what, take that how it resonates, could be a friendship, relationship, employment ship, any, any of your ships, that's what I like to call them. I'm seeing that there's another path that will be very clear to you. You cannot see it right now, but the path will open up here. It's going to take some reflection. It's gonna take a break, a pause. We have introspection. And sometimes the pauses are what's gonna give you a turbo boost in front of the rest because who's really taking pauses to work on some of this healing? And in a sense, you kind of have an advantage. So what this is doing, I embrace joyful opportunities. So this is bringing in joyful opportunities. All of this seems like past energy. This is new here, right? But you have a lot of experience. You've learned from many of the things you went through. I'm also hearing deck two. You will not have to go back through those things that you've went through. You gain the awareness and insight from that occurrence to now move forward. In a sense, you got what you needed from these relationships and to be open to embracing more relationships and opportunities and also victory, okay? Let's see why else this card is here. It says, if you are not living the life you desire, it's because a part of you doesn't believe it's possible. It's time to upgrade. Look your belief in the eye and see where did it come from, okay? So if it's not bringing you victory and embracing uh, joyful opportunities, if it's not bringing you rest and peace, okay, because we also have balance, then it's time to reevaluate it. It could be a limiting belief. So, so we have balance. Take time to relax. Indulge a little more or less. Set boundaries with your work. So some of you, this can be uh, your job, the time, the energy could be limiting you from getting where you really want to get to. Okay, so we, again, clearing your energy. Let's get some more information on what that could be. We have some postponement happening and hiding your true self. Okay, hiding your true self. So this feels to me like you are going through more so of an identity, an, a reoccurring identity, a rebirth. This rebirth brings clarity. How do you know you went through it? Because when you see yourself, you see the worthiness. When you see yourself, you see yourself as light-hearted, light, -hearted, light uh, and also at peace. So hiding your true self, let's get some. So I'm also feeling like some of this victory that is not occurring exactly the way or in the time you would want to, it's because again, with hiding your true self, not being true to who you are, let's see what this is here for. 10 of cups. So hiding your true self says that you following your true self and the truth, because we have this. This is a heavy deck, deck two. Okay, this is some spiritual things here. And I also feel like you're here to do and accomplish many things. So you will have obstacles that create the illusion that you can't. It's very important to be aware of if you are projecting a fear or if you are following your truth. Your truth is also following what brings you happiness and contentment in everything in your life. Everything. The 10 would be fulfillment. There's nothing more that you can ask for. So I do see that spirit is bringing you justice. We have repose, four of swords. This would be rest. Again, another word for rest. Okay, so right now it's time to rest. Find that clarity, introspection to find yourself so that you can then get on the path to fulfillment with the 10 of cups. Things are being postponed right now. All right, let's see why hiding or let's see why this is postponed, why this victory and, and success and fulfillment, why, what's the postponement? Inspection, again. We have introspection and inspection. So it's in a sense, the same thing is to pay more close attention to your desires, what you love, and also what brings you fulfillment. If it does not, it would be time to clear your energy. Now, not getting too crazy here, we have a quest at the bottom. So this is a journey. This may feel sometimes like a lonely journey or a journey in many spaces of solitude, but in that space of solitude is where you will find your true self, okay? So this is where that true version of yourself comes out. This true version is going to be very victorious 
this true version is going to be healed, they're going to be prosperous, and they're also going to be fulfilled in their relationships and in their jobs. So that would be your true self. And right now you've kind of been hiding that version, doing what you have to do, but your true self will always be there. Okay, so that's what's happening now. I do sense that the quest card is here. So you will be taking a quest from or away from the things that you're currently experiencing. Okay, so we have epiphany. I don't think this is completely just happened yet. Okay, so this may be foreshadowing some things that happen. The limits and the triggers, if they exist, they will be shown. Okay, so epiphany in reverse, it says joy through spiritual growth. So the joy is going to come through the spiritual growth. This is Virgo energy as well. So this is also the hermit card. Okay, and that's that's number two for you, deck two. Nine, the hermit and the hermit again in reverse. So this would mean to take time for yourself and figure out, again, pour into yourself. You'll never regret it. That was the message that I was giving earlier. It seems very, very head on for you. The joy is going to come through the spiritual journey, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. Some of the answers that you're looking for that have not been revealed are going to come in meditation. And I'm feeling like spirit is saying that that's the best time for them to come. Sometimes we feel like we're ready for insight. We feel like we are, but spirit knows what divine timing is. We also have the lovers in reverse. So I do see that there is some type of fallout or some type of relationship that really brings you the clarity that you've been looking for. And some of you may even feel like, wow, I didn't see this all along with this situation, job, person, whatever that may be. So make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments. The power of love is in reverse. So you're still learning about what love is, what love you have within you. I'm not going to get into that too much. We also have the King of Michael. I believe we have that here twice as well. We have the logic card, King of Michael. Okay. It says principle, rational, ambitious, respected. This is who you're becoming. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Someone's not being honest. It's not, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, but when you learn to trust the truth, when you learn to be comfortable with it, that is when you're truly going to get the answers that you are seeking. That's when you're going to get the freedom, the peace, the love, all of it comes from that page of Ariel. So you may be getting ready to start a new job. You could have started a new job, or there's going to be something that comes in that offers you. It seems like an opportunity. It says that an excellent opportunity will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education time to get to work. This seems like a project that's worth working on in a sense of receiving the profit that you deserve from it. So deck number two, I'm hoping that this gave you some clarity. I know that you're shaking, shaking it off. Like it just seems like you're shaking yourself off. And as you're shaking yourself off those, those layers of skin, like it's layers of yourself, layers of identity that you are shedding, just like a snake, you are shedding these layers that are not yours. Now, the next step is the layers that are bringing triggers to you, the layers that are bringing heaviness in your energy field. Those are the things. And this is all for the purpose of victory and fulfillment, but you must trust definitely trust in the process and in yourself and in truth. Now, if you guys chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. Feel free to comment on someone else's video. If this video inspired you or brought clarity, like it, subscribe. I'm moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in a special message that you were meant to hear right now. So this message is going to be something that you really, really need to hear. The question is, what do I resist feeling right now. We have to feel it to heal it. In order to let go of pain, we first must honor its existence. So be aware of those existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. So allow yourself to feel this wave and let it move you is what's happening. It's like, don't resist the change. And honestly, based on the space that I feel like you are in, this place of resistance feels almost like fear of not knowing what will happen if you allow the change. So, you know, sometimes that could be a very subtle fear that we have. 
but what you resist, you prolong. So truthfully is this lesson, even if you resist it this year, will still appear a year from now or another year from now. It never goes away until it is complete within you. And so what the card is saying is, is to allow that to happen, allow that to occur so that you can release it. You have two cards that came out. And of course, deck number three, we have double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. As I always say, this is definitely going to be a deck that resonates more with uh, a sense of purpose. Okay, so this will be some heavy spiritual stuff, but you are here for a double mission and that is to uplift humanity. And that could be through many different things. It could be artistically, creatively. Um, some of you could be musicians, artists, painters, entrepreneurs, life coaches, um, you know, tarot readers, singers, songwriters, play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious, deck number three. We must have some earth signs on here, some Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Abundance, okay, deck number three, I'm feeling this. So this feels really good. I, I sense that you guys have come a long way and many of you could also be focused on abundance and financial success. So removing those limitations from your finances so you can have more. So some of this change right now could just be feeling uncomfortable and that's because it's new and it's very new, but the most important thing is that you're not taking it so serious and understanding that this is a journey. It is a ride, okay? It's a ride, not a destination. Now, we also have the Schizophrenia card and Peaceful Among Thorns. I love that. Wow, that card is dope. Okay, so schizophrenia, the two is just being between two different decisions, being in two different places at once, um, going back and forth between things, confusion. Now where there's no certainty is where the confusion will lie. And when, when you're very certain of something, it's a knowingness. The more certain you are about things, the more peaceful you are going to be because you won't have to go back and forth on, should I make this decision? Is this the right path? Trusting yourself more, okay? And understanding that you are here co-creating. Okay, you are not making this all happen. You are just getting in alignment to receive it and, and allow it to happen, okay? So trusting more in your help, and I feel like many of you could just be the helper, and so you're not used to that, but you have peaceful among thorns, which means that you carry a whole nother frequency, okay? To be peaceful among thorns, it's like no matter what, this is what you've worked so hard for, this is what the inner work is for. This is what that self-work, those nights of crying, staying up, journaling, um, not knowing why these were happening, things were happening. This is what it was all for. And this is being able to sustain peace among chaos. That's when you become the teacher. You now have learned to go with the waves. The waves then go with you. It's a whole nother thing that spirit is inviting you into. So peaceful among the thorns. So this is allowing you to be who you are, to be peaceful no matter what happens. This is what you're working so hard for. So no matter who comes in, comes out, no matter who says no, no matter which door was closed, all of those act as thorns. The sun, deck three, this is amazing. Okay, I haven't even touched on the abundance. I am optimistic and I appreciate all I have. This is the happiness card. This is being content even among the thorns. You're still content. It doesn't matter where you are. You still have that contentness. Whether you're homeless or in a mansion, you still have that contentness and that peace. And that's that's the core of who you are. You're, you're finally getting the grasp of things, step three. I love it. Ace of Cups, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. So also some of you may find that it's the start to new love in relationships. So now that you found love within, it feels like you are now going to share that with another person and embracing that also, embracing being the recipient of abundance, being the recipient of love, being on the receiving end of love and receiving, okay? So being open to welcoming that as well. 
So we have the Four of Swords. I take the time I need to rediscover my vitality, which is my energy. So the only thing here is not overworking yourself, not burning yourself out. Some of you will unlock keys to things that will set you free and many things in your life and you'll be so excited to do it, uh, but don't burn yourself out doing it. So make sure that you're taking the time that you need to rest. Right now is a perfect time for pause and reflection. This would be three out of four decks that receive that message. So I do feel like that's a universal thing is right now it's pause and reflect. Allow this time and insight for your next um, destination. Delight. I love it. And embrace. So we have 11. So now it's all about receiving deck three. So you are in a sense of receiving, even if it's inspiration. Okay. So anything in your life, your job, your home, whatever it is that you have, if you're not receiving delight from it, then that's what spirit is going to work towards removing so that you can embrace more things that are going to bring you excitement. They're going to bring you uh, a celebration feeling, having fun. So remembering that that adult thing that we were taught is very systematic. Grow up, do those things. You know, truthfully, your soul is a child and never really ages in spirit. So that's something too, is remembering to stay true to who you are, even though the circumstances have been crazy in your life enough to change you into someone that you are not. We have magic. Wow, this is a magical deck. If you guys got this deck, the work is paying off. The sun is getting ready to shine. Abundance is coming in. I still haven't even got to the abundance. Like it's that good. That's true abundance when so many good things are happening and then there's just more and there's more. First, we had the sun card come out, optimism. Then we had abundance come out. Then we had delight come out. Now we have magic. It's overwhelming, right? That's abundance. It means more than enough, right? So more than enough in material things, more than enough in your relationships, okay? So all of these changes are getting you to this place of believing in miracles. So magic surrounds you, make a wish. So remember when I said you're not doing this alone, deck three, even though some things you may always find yourself being the leader, being the one in charge, being the one with the idea. Some of you may have felt that way. So with this, this is understanding that you're not making this happen. The magic is when you are co-creating with the universe, something much greater than yourself, because your magic can only be magic tricks. Now, when I'm tuned in and synced with the universe and we have message after message after message come out confirmation it's hard to deny that spirit is not around right so this is where the magic happens co-creating with something much greater than yourself so you don't have to do it alone all right we have six of ariel Material needs get filled in magical and unexpected ways. So those material things that you guys are still waiting for, that dream car, <laughs> buying a house, that retreat. Some of you guys have really, really cool dreams here. Um, going to Dubai, going to other places, just a lot of money, a lot of wealth. Some of you ha may have really big dreams. I don't know which deck you may have chose on the financial life if you guys haven't seen that. I, I feel genuinely that you are here to experience abundance and abundance materialistically and financially. So that's something that I see heavily. It says act of kindness, giving and receiving with a grateful heart. So making sure that your intention behind when you give and receive is good. And as long as that is clear, you're always going to receive. It says there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. I didn't even clarify any of this because it's just like it's so connected and it's very divine all right let's see is there anything else you want deck three to know because i mean this is really really good anything that needs to be clarified decisions two of wands in reverse let's see what this is about decisions for deck three all right seems like something with career more uh, more decisions have to be made 
following your intuition and detaching from the complacency of it. So some of you have bigger dreams, right? And there's some things that are keeping you at a very low, lower level. Let's say that you were meant to go to level 20. Some of these things, these habits, these dependencies are keeping you or were keeping you because some of you have, have went through this in those lower levels, level 11 rather than level 20, okay? Some people in your life will have to get off at level nine, level 12, even level 19, right when you make it, right? But this is trusting that the universe is there and will not lead you down the wrong path. So not having to overthink that. Nine of Michael, we have your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Focus on what you want to happen. Release your feelings of any regret, guilt, worry, shame, those low frequency things. And it says to your angel. So release that. There's no longer any need to carry it. And then we also have the this card in reverse, which means it's not time to act on serious things right in the moment. Take that pause, reflect, look around, keep your options open is what I'm hearing. Keep your options open because you don't know what's going to happen. So it's not time to move quick, quickly. Choose your logic over emotion, sudden changes. Okay. So there will be sudden changes that are going to be occurring and it's all for the purpose of the sun card. You see all of this, but the sun is just still here shining so bright. I mean, it's really hard not to see the good things in life. Deck number three. So let's see what else it says at the bottom. Allow yourself to feel this wave. Let it move through you no matter how long it lasts. Then release it back into the ocean. I love that. Feel it. Heal it. Enjoy the sweet freedom within your soul. I love it. So this is all for the purpose of freedom. Let's see if deck number three, if there's anything else. Let's clear up this nine of Michael. What are they worried about? One more making the wrong decision to something I'm hearing, detachment, patience, it not happening in time, you know, allow it to happen. It is here questioning it, questioning whether it is going to happen, whether it's meant to happen. And I mean like luxury earlier when I said that I meant like a jet, like jets and lots of financial things. And this doesn't have to be for everyone, but whatever it is that you desire, you can have. So if you don't desire it, then there's no need to question why you don't have it. But those who do desire that, I do see jets, private jets, prosperity. I mean, you would be able to go to Dubai and back without any problem. I don't know exactly why I keep saying Dubai. It can be Egypt. It could be the Maldives. It could be your next door neighbor state. It can be Europe, Africa. Many, many places are here. And I'm sensing that you're here to see many, many things and you're here to learn many things. And that is going to come through some of this traveling and embracing many of these optimistic things in your life. So empathy and detachment. So this is also, remember when I said some people are going to have to get off on those levels. It's just trusting, trusting that that's correct. We have uh, 14, 4, 4 at the clock. Detachment and the empathy is more of feeling, feeling bad um, for wanting to chase your dreams or having more or desiring more or um, that many people around you may not have it, but understand that your journey is going to give you the ability. That's also why that money is there to help other people. So that kindness, that empathy that you do have, most of your abundance is coming from just the sole purpose of your heart wanting to bless others. So because of that, you have already opened up your, yourself as a stream of income. So I do see that that's why abundance is here for you. So it's not just, you know, to have the finer things in life. Yes, to appreciate and enjoy those, but also giving you the ability to do more and travel more and accomplish more of the things that you want to accomplish and also creating the reality that you want to live. So that's what this is going to allow you. So there's nothing wrong with being open to having more finances because the more finances that you have, it's a resource to enhance you towards happiness. Okay. It's an enhancer. It will allow you to travel when you want to travel, go to where you want to go to stay where you want to take care of who you need to provide, um, you know, so many more things, build businesses, 
Uh, some of you have really big dreams here. So that is something that's going to be very, very important is that you're open to receiving that abundance so that you can manifest some of these things in this lifetime. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. I hope that gave you some inspiration to keep going. This looks beautiful. Everything that you're going through is for purpose. So make sure that you keep the truth near and follow the light always. So don't forget to comment down below if you guys chose deck number three so I can get some feedback to you guys. I've left someone else in the comment section. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and a special message that you were meant to hear. Let's see what your question was. How can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. And then we also have some strong boundaries, listening to your heart, speaking to yourself with compassion and many different things. So let's see what this is about. Deck number four, life purpose. So some of you guys could be going through a spiritual awakening with the life purpose here. This is usually an awakening that's occurring. So I like to also say an ego death, a dark night of the soul. Many people are calling it that, but it's just very painful places and realizations that are happening in your life. Certain illusions that may be going away, the veil being lifted, being aware of something that maybe you weren't before. We have surrender and protection but this is also knowing that universe higher self whichever you believe in is here to protect you and also that you don't have to worry about any of the things that are not exactly seemingly happening for you they some some things are not meant to happen but they're for the better sometimes we can't see that right away so this is where the surrendering is coming from let me get one more card before i go into this birthing a new age yeah so this is a rebirth so this is something that's occurring it's saying birthing new cre creations dreaming a new world into being let's see why surrender is here for death for <clears throat> thank you Judgment, there you have it, spiritual awakening, opportunity. So this is an opportunity to change your life. So something is going to happen in your life very, very soon if it has not already. This is gonna feel like a revelation. Again, the veil is being lifted, the illusion. What the illusion is, is something that we believe so hardcore, so wholeheartedly that we believed is now not the truth anymore. And so some of these things, they start, you know, our realities start crumbling. And this is where spiritual um, awakening is happening. So spirit is, it could be a fair warning to know that you are protected. We have 2020 here. Okay. So 2020 could have been a big year for you guys, but you know, I don't believe in coincidences at all. So 2020 could have been that spiritual year for you where things really happen, something really happened. And this was all about loving yourself and self-love and compassion. Let's see what else spirit has to say. Loyalty in reverse. So something happened that created a, a lack of loyalty here, a lack of trust. Again, seeing the truth of something that happened. Um, this is also lack of stability financially. We also have the temperance, Sagittarius energy, moderation. So this would mean more of a reconciliation with yourself or your true self. Okay, coming back in to reunion with your true self. So something that happened that brought you awareness was meant to happen so that you can see this. We also have the hangman here. I can see the situation another way. Whatever it was, it did bring a, a lack of fulfillment in your life. So I do see that seeing the situation another way is going to bring you peace and also bring you clarity, but mainly protection, knowing that you are protected on this journey, because again, it's about your life purpose here. I want to get clarity on why life purpose is here. You are the one celebration. I love this. Okay. That makes me happy, deck four. So everything that you're going through is a reminder that you are the one. You are the one. So this is the, you are the one you are looking for. You are the one you are seeking. You are the one. I love it. So the, the life purpose, that's what this is about. So to clarify life purpose and this card come out, 
celebration on top of that. It's not something to dwell over, but something to, to celebrate and look from a higher perspective. When you can do that, that's when you know that you have evolved and come a long way. When you can celebrate about the new beginnings in your life and the endings that have that are finally over, the things that you no longer have to deal with. So I do see that there is a huge breakthrough coming through and it's coming from you being able to see it from a different way, okay? Sometimes we feel like there's no coming back from certain things and sometimes that's also not the truth. The star card, wow, Aquarius energy. I am inspired and positive about my future. That is amazing. So this is all also bringing you hope. So this message for you, deck number four, is a message of hope. So if you guys chose deck number four, I am hopeful is going to be the hashtag that you're going to write down below to send that affirmation into the universe. Because again, your measurement of faith, right? It, the more hopeful you are, the more likely that reality can exist. All right, so hope is a very, very big deal. Hope is on the way, it's near. So stay inspired and follow those things that bring you inspiration because that's where you're gonna find your answers and also who you are. So let's see who else. 10 of swords, I can see the truth in the ending. So some of you may need more clarity of certain endings that have happened with the 10 of swords for you to completely write it off. Um, also have the ace of wands. I am inspired to follow my passion in reverse. Let's see where this lack of inspiration has come from deck number four. I always have an extra deck for you. So let's just see why is the ace of wands here for deck number four? Stress. So how can you be inspired? We also have temperance again. So remember when I said, I don't believe in coincidences, right? What are the chances? Two different decks, two different decks and the same card come out again, Sagittarius energy. So you can definitely be a Sagittarius. This is temperance. This is coming back to yourself in such a beautiful way, painful, but beautiful. And so it's hard to be inspired when you are stressed. Okay. So that's the, the integration that you're going through is giving yourself enough time to also find yourself in, in the midst of all of this. That self-love is being kind to yourself in your thoughts how you think about yourself, okay? So start thinking those good things about yourself. And I'm also feeling, give yourself a chance. So anything else that needs to be clarified? I don't see so. All right. What you're working towards is awareness, living in the future, okay? Not having anxiousness of what's gonna happen, but remembering that this is a journey, truly. And it's a journey to find who you are, but when you find who you are, the journey changes, okay? It's like watching a movie in 3D times a million. I'm sure they'll have 5D, 6D here pretty soon, but for now, that's what it's like. So live in the moment, be cautious of your thoughts. There it is again, be cautious of your thoughts. Look for your signs and guidance. So your mind, your thoughts should be a best friend rather than a dictator. Someone, your thoughts should be what's working with you, not uh, against you out of doubt or fear. Because uh, remember that the mind will fear things that the soul wants to embrace, okay? So basically you will outthink yourself on certain things because of that. But in this next level deck number four, I feel like the message that you came here to hear was this next level is going to require hope and faith not really the best strategic plan or the best analytical plan. It's going to require you to come back to the truth of you. So you'll know when you get there also, because you will start, you know, hyping yourself up in the mirror and starting to see yourself for who you really are. And once you're able to do that, your words change. You start speaking about yourself differently, very highly. There's nothing wrong with that. Right now, let's see the other part obsession is here. So I asked what you guys might be dealing with in the sense of your ego self and that's obsession. Okay. So let's get some clarity, letting go deck four. So first time I'm seeing these cards with you. So letting go. So the obsession of how to let go could be the case, the obsession of not wanting to let go, but it's more so of that feeling you get from the vision that you're imagining in the future, whether it's with someone, whether it's with this job, you know, this can be letting go of many things that 
You know, we keep thinking that if this works, it could be like this. Whatever that vision is, spirit wants you to start having that for yourself. Have that vision for yourself. Make It makes it much easier to detach and let go of whatever comes in or whoever comes in. Okay, so that's something to hear. Let's just get one more clarity card on letting go. Why is this here for deck four? The full card. So it's time to take the journey of a different route. So deck four, what I'm hearing is it's time to try a different route. Time to try a different route. This route is for exploration. You guys could have been going back and forth between another deck. Uh, specifically, it could have been one, but either other deck. I'm really seeing that there could have been another message for you because the fool is here for exploration and also for excitement and, and holding on to these things is what's preventing you. So imagine yourself, you're trying to take this leap of faith, but you have all of these things tied to the bottom of your, your foot. It's like a weight. So without the letting it go, it's much harder to jump higher. And so what spirit is wanting you to do is really follow your intuition on this and allow these things to happen and integrate. Sometimes it could be painful at first, but I am seeing that it's getting you to a place. It's even saying surrender. We have all these twos, make decisions, choose you. That's all I keep hearing deck for. We have the seven of Michael. So this is, this is someone who has been through betrayal with a person or a circumstance or situation. It says there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So some of you, it might be helpful to get a life coach or someone that can assist you on seeing a higher perspective, someone that you trust. Um, because I am sensing that this next level, you will have to trust someone because the universe is sending in help to inspire you on your, your path to your passions. Okay, so here it is again, Knight of Gabriel. All right, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. So this is about um, you discovering yourself on a deeper level and then also your desires. But Spirit is saying living in the moment to do that. Ace of Raphael, if, if those of you, for a few of you, doesn't have to be all of you, are dealing with that relationship loss, there is going to be justice here, but it comes from first your appreciation and gratitude for yourself, okay? This is something that we are all learning is to give to ourselves. We have a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insight. So something is getting ready to start here. It could be just for, it could be for life. It could be for yourself. It could be for a new person. Um, let's clarify why the Ace of Raphael is here for deck four. Ace of Raphael for deck four. Why is this here? Thank you. Eight of uh, Pentacles. It's not exactly the time here. Practice this here in the verse. Allow it time to mature with your, with your own journey. Give yourself time to explore for yourself. That's something that I'm hearing. And then we also have the five of Michael. This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking an uplifting approach. So this is definitely seeming to be a relationship. We even have at the bottom of this deck relationship, not having that scarcity mindset of thinking that this is the only connection that exists. Please don't limit the universe because the universe has done some amazing things connecting people from all around the planet. And the chances of people connecting and making beautiful connections, it can only be something much more than ourselves. So I asked deck four, what I'm hearing very clearly is do not limit the universe. There are beautiful connections that will serve different purposes and they are meant to be explored. So I do see that that's coming in near time. Um, or even if it's repairing a relationship, it's coming in due time, but this is all pointing right back to you. So whatever it is that you're experiencing, it's making sure that if someone leaves in your life, it doesn't matter who it is, that you are still fulfilled and you still have an individual vision of happiness for yourself so that when they leave, it doesn't feel like they're taking something. Okay. Cause we're making some of these people the vision and when they leave the vision leaves but you must have a vision for yourself at core so the universe is here 
being open to trusting that and allowing that. So you're going through this integration and the reason for it is to find yourself and your purpose, which is going to be ultimately what you've been looking for all along um, is this fulfillment. But some of these places you're, you're looking and you're getting little bits here, little bits here. Spirit's like, okay, follow your soul and get the real entree, get the real meal. So follow your heart, follow your intuition. All right, deck number four, don't forget to hashtag down below. I am hopeful to send that affirmation into the universe. Comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys and like this video if it really helped bring clarity and insight to your life. I'm wishing you the best. Stay hopeful, stay optimistic, love and light, and I will see you in the next Pick a Card reading.